Hello and welcome to another Raw Armor video. I'm Lisa Dingemans and today I'm going to show you how to simplify and draw a head from any angle. So let's get started. Now when it comes to portrait drawing, there's loads of books around. Sometimes it can be a bit daunting to think about where you want to start. Well lucky for you, I've read them all and I'm going to tell you what I think is the most important when you're constructing a portrait. Of course this is what I think, so please do read the books that I'll link, I'll link them all down below. So anything you're going to draw is just made out of shapes. And there's loads of shapes around. There's squiggly shapes, little shapes, big shapes. But for this tutorial we're going to be focusing on mainly the square. Or maybe I should say rectangle. Most portraits are made out of spheres or rectangles. And so these are the shapes we're going to be focusing on. So let's see how that works in real life. When I trace a skull over the model's head, you can see that the zygomatic arch, so the cheekbone, is at the same place as the ear hole and the bottom of the eye socket, and that the front of the face is pretty much perpendicular to that line. Now, if we're going to make this a square, if we know the angle of the front of the skull, we also know the angle of the back of the skull. The bottom will be where the chin is, and it will be parallel to the line along the cheekbone. I like putting my top at the hairline. Technically the skull is a little bit taller, but I like having a perfect square so I can divide it up into four little squares. Some people like to do a circle like that. I'm not a big fan as you can't really measure that well using a circle. So I like my squares, but it's up to you. Now, if you look at my measurements, you can see that we can divide the skull up into three equal parts. The bottom of the nose to the chin, the nose to the brow, and the brow to the hairline. Now if you look at this drawing I did of this model, you can see I broke it down the same ways. Let's reverse it really quickly. With these boxes you can put heads in any angle you want. Now for our last assignment, I'm going to put up this photo of a model, pause the video for a minute, take the time to look or draw and see where you'd put the box and then unpause to see what I did. Have fun and see you at the next video.